Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Bola Motorsports. Right next to me, we have a beautiful 1969 Ford Thunderbird. It's powered by a 429 Thunderjet V8, 360 horsepower, 480 foot-pounds of torque. This is a true land yacht. Original paint, original interior. If you want to find out more information, look below in our description. Also, please be sure to like and subscribe so we can give you more content like this. I'm going to start off with the front end of this beautiful Thunderbird. It has all original paint. It does have dealer option pinstriping, which is turquoise, to match the beautiful Thunderbird insignia in the center of the crest of the grill. Also, the headlights are hidden beneath foldable eyelids that open up with a vacuum operated assist. So when I pull the lights on, they should be opening right now, are they? How cool is that? We're going to walk down the uh, passenger side first so I can show you more of this beautiful car. The body lines on this specific car are extremely clean. I'd rate the paint a 7.5 to 8 out of 10 because it's original and it's 52 years old. Wheels and tires are in excellent condition. Tires are pretty much brand new and the wheel caps are in excellent shape but they do have minor pitting throughout. I do see some touch up right here. And then you can see that turquoise pinstriping that flows throughout the whole entire body. One of my favorite parts about this car is the original alligator style top that has never been replaced. It's not bubbling anywhere. You also have your crest insignia for Thunderbird right here with alligator striping inside. All the bright work is in great shape. Handles are in great shape. Then you have a secondary pinstripe that goes down the quarter panel. When you open up the door, you're invited by beautiful green vinyl. Door cards are in great shape. You're seeing a little bit of lifting here. I'm picking out a lot of imperfections that most people wouldn't see. So I'm going to show you some of the buttons and features that they have on the headliner up here when we start it up. It's like you're literally in an airplane. When you open up the door and keep your lights on, it has a buzzer. Your seats fold back and in the rear seats are extremely comfortable. I actually rode back there on the way to this area. Dash has zero imperfections. Headliner is in great shape. You do have your seat belts that are hanging up top along with your lap belts right here, which still recline. The Thunderbird insignia right here is beautiful and the carpet is original. Glove box opens as it should and there is a light that illuminates inside there. And look at all of the bolts. This car has never been a part. It was just taken care of properly. You've got your owner's card here. It was produced in Albuquerque, New Mexico. So it was produced in 68, 1226, 68. That's pretty cool. First week. Amazing. Let me go ahead and continue down here and grab the key so I can open up the trunk. Listen to the door. Awesome. All the bright work throughout is nice, as I said before. You have another Thunderbird insignia in this corner marker. Chrome, the chrome is in excellent condition. Minor scratch right here. Rear tail lights have that insignia with the turquoise again. And all of this is in really nice shape. It looks like someone has painted this in the past with silver, but it looks great. You pull this up to get to your key. I don't think this is the right key. So I thought the office had the trunk key, but it was actually in the ashtray. So I can actually show you the trunk and I've operate the doors if I want to lock it. Oh, oh my gosh. So much room for activities in these trunks. Carpet is extremely clean. This is all original. Uh, all the boxing is original. You have your original jack in place, original spare tire. Just an unbelievable piece of history. Tail light on this side is in great shape too, and the chrome you can see is extremely reflective. No pitting. As we look at this quarter panel, I don't see any imperfections. Let me open up the gas cap for you. Nice and clean. I bought this car out of Arizona, by the way. All the bright work on this side looks nice. Open up the door. See how nice that is. And you can see that the paint actually is original. There's no paint over marks. Got your correct sticker here. And then look at all the vacuum assist hoses for everything. Crazy. Power, uh, power seats work as well. Very nice. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start it up. I was talking about that chime. 73,431 miles, and the gauges are unbelievable. So right now, my light is clicking, my light is on for my seat belts, and it's illuminating for my door. If I pull the lights on, hear the noise? 
Also, if you're low on fuel, this will light up, which we are pretty close to low on fuel. When you look at all the gauges and all of the bright work inside, it looks like new. You also have a rear vent that you can open up and your wipers operate as they should. Radio works too. AM only. You got a little compartment here. Let me shut it off and then I'll show you the rest of it while we're driving. Let's get to the good stuff. This fender right here looks great. Both body lines on both sides are even and the antenna works still. It's a power antenna. Let me go ahead and open up the engine bay. Wait till you see this. Super clean 429 Thunder Jet. This is a big girl, 360 horse, 480 foot pounds of torque. These are amazing motors to build if you ever wanted to build one up. Super clean design, factory AC car. You've got your power steering uh, cooler, power brakes, and obviously it has those actuators for the, for the eyelids. Just a nice piece. Look at how, that's all original, that motor. Look how nice all the insulation is too. And there's no dents or dings throughout. Original rubber. It closes easily too. Let's go ahead and jump in it and go for a ride. So I have my emergency flashes on just to show you that all the lights are illuminating inside and that means that all the turn signals are working. You have your Philco radio that just showed you working. Lights. You can hear the vacuum assist working for the front eyelets. You also have AC. AC is blowing warm, so it needs to be recharged, but all the blowing settings are working and the heat does operate. What's neat, if you look at that vent right there, you're gonna see the Thunderbird logo in the actual vent. And I've never seen this, so you have a vent control for the rear, and then this is also your wiper control. You have your uh, alternator current, your temperature for the motor, and then you have a clock that does not operate. But look at how nice the steering wheel is. There's not a single crack in it. Uh, you have an ashtray here, and there's ashtrays throughout the vehicle in the rear for both patrons. Brand new. Pretty nice. Brand new cigarette lighter, which operates. And then you have your little storage compartment here that has a little magnet and your owner's card. Let's go ahead and put this into drive and take it for a ride. It's really smooth. You could drive this every day. It's a highway cruiser for sure. This is Mario. He's been in multiple videos with us. Feels really good. Yes, we're gonna make it through the coronavirus. Steering is very precise. Secondary is open up a little bit slower than I would like, but they do work well. Mileage, I believe this mileage to be 100% true, 30, uh, 73,000 miles, and it's held up extremely well. We put it on the lift and underneath it is super solid. I mean, you could tell that it was an Arizona car its whole life. We're going, to, we're going about 50 miles an hour, it feels like nothing. What I'll do is I'll turn left here and then uh, we'll get some outside shots and you can decide on if this is the right car for you. If you have any questions about this specific Thunderbird, you can reach me at 954-363-2261. I ship worldwide. You can send us a message with your zip code or port of entry for a quote. Have a great day. Thanks.